Hello, this is Tara with Northwest Association for Blind Athletes and welcome to today's cardio workout. Please be um, mindful of your own activity and if you need to make any adaptations, please do so for yourself. Your safety is a priority. All right, so the style of this workout today is going to be a warm up that I will do descriptions as we go through the warm up at the same time. Then there will be four circuits. Each circuit has four exercises in it. We will go through each circuit three times. Um, within each circuit, we will do each exercise for 30 seconds, followed by a 10 second rest. Before each circuit, I will describe all of the exercises within that circuit, and then we will dive in. Let's have at it. So let's start our warm up. You're gonna start by walking in place or walking back and forth in your space, walking in circles, whatever works best for you. We're just gonna start moving our body. Get a timer set up here for our circuits. So I am doing all of these exercises in the speed, the width of a yoga mat. So I'm just walking back and forth on my yoga mat. At any time in this video, please feel free to pause and continue to warm up further or do different or separate exercises. Uh, next up, arm circles. I'm gonna put my arms out into a T-shape or an, uh, airplane arms, roll my arms in small circles forward. Each time I roll my arms forward, I'm gonna make the circle a little bit bigger until they're as big as I can get. I'm past medium here, I'm in some large circles. And now my circles are as big as they can get. I'm going to reverse now. So small circles backwards. Again, starting to make them bigger each time I go. Getting the shoulders warmed up. My arms are as big as they can get now. Let's move on to glute kicks. You're going to bring your heel to your bottom. So right heel to bottom left heel to bottom and you're going to move your arms in opposition so right heel comes up left arm bent at a 90 degree angle swings forward and same on the opposite side feel free to do these glute kicks at your own pace and let's switch over to high knees so now Drive your knee up as high as you can, alternating, keeping those arms swinging in opposition. Right knee up, left arm forward, left knee up, right arm forward. Knees to the ceiling. All right, we're gonna switch gears here to windmill toe touches. Spread your feet wider than shoulder width apart, but still comfortable. Put those arms back into a T shape. Opposite hand reaches for opposite foot. So bend down at the waist, left hand comes to right foot, come back up and um, opposite on the other side and continue alternating at your own pace. Hinging at the hips, pushing your bottom back, opposite hand to opposite foot. If you don't make it to your foot, that's fine. Some days I can't either. Meeting at your knee, your shin, whatever works for you today. Getting our heart rates up a little bit here. Moving our muscles. A few more. And we will transition to calf raises or heel raises. What you're going to do is put both heels up and then bring them back down to the ground. Heels up, heels down, heels up, heels down. At your own pace, if you need something to hold on to for balance, I encourage you to do so. Wonderful, I'm going to get a sip of water and we will begin. First up is circuit number one. There are four exercises. These exercises are shoulder squeezes, bicep curls with a lunge, tricep extensions with a lunge, and arm circles. First exercise is shoulder squeezes. How we're we going to do this? Stand in a comfortable position, mine are about shoulder width apart, that is up to you. What you're going to do, elbows out, or arms are bent at 90 degree angle. Elbows are level with your shoulders. Palms face forward, fingertips up. 
It's also like cactus or goalpost arms. You're, what you're going to do is bring your elbows together in front of you and then squeeze your shoulder blades together so that your elbows go back. So elbows together in front of you, elbows back to behind the shoulders, squeezing those shoulder blades together. So your elbows are always level with your shoulders. They're just going in front of you and out to your sides. Fingertips always forward, palms, or fingertips always face up, palms always face forward. That is our shoulder squeezes. Feel free to add weight to those. Next up, bicep curls with a lunge. This one, we're gonna do our right foot forward. Always our right foot forward for these. So step forward with your right foot, step back with your left foot. You're going to bend down on both knees so that both knees create a 90 degree angle. You want your um, right thigh to be parallel with the ceiling and your left shin to be parallel with the ground. So both legs are a 90 degree angle. If you need to bring your feet forward or backward, please do so. When you're doing this, you want to make sure your front knee does not go over past your ankle. You want to make sure that you're not overextending your knee. So that's the lunge. Next up, we're adding the bicep curl. So feel free to add in weights. You are going to extend your arms out in front of you. I'm in my upright position, not in my lunge position yet. And then if you have weights, feel free to hold on to those weights. And as I go down to my lunge position, I'm going to curl my arms so that they are at a 90 degree angle coming towards me. So palms face in, I lunge down, arms are bent at a 90 degree angle. I come up, arms are extended out straight, level with my shoulders, and legs are straight. So bending, arms are bending and knees are bending, extending, arms are straight, legs are straight. Elbows are always level with the shoulders, bending up and down, elbow as the hinge, knees are the hinge. That is bicep curls with a lunge on the right side. Now for the left side, what we're gonna do is this time, lunges on the left. This time we're doing tricep extensions. So same lunge deal, both knees bent at 90 degree angle, front knee stacked over your front ankle. This time arms are extended behind you, palms face in. And you are going to, every time you go down, extend your arms further back behind you in a straight line, then come back up, relax your arms by your sides. Go down, arms extend behind you, lift up, arms by your sides. Feel free to add weight. Those are our tricep extensions with lunge. Next up, arm circles. We did these in the warm up. Feel free to do them uh, at whatever size arm circles feel best for you. Let's hit it. We're gonna do 30 seconds each, 10 second rest. Starting with shoulder squeezes. Let's add music. All right, we are gonna start with shoulder squeezes in five, four, three, two, one, go. Your elbows are in line with your shoulders, squeezing shoulder blades together to bring your elbows back, bringing your elbows forward. Shoulder squeezes. This first circuit, some warm up type of movement. Circuits two and three, we're gonna really bring the heat. Three, two, one, rest. Get 10 second rest. Get ready for your bicep curl. Put your right foot forward in a lunge. Three, two, one, let's hit it. Right foot forward in lunge, bicep curl. knee over that ankle, both knees at degrees, adjust your feet if needed, add weight if you need, keep it up, and back three, two, one, rest. All right, three, two, one, left leg forward, let's go. Left leg lunges, tricep extensions behind you. Nice job. Left legs forward, extending those arms straight behind you, relaxing them when you go up in your lunge. 90 degree angle bends in your legs. Breathe through it. Touch my 
bounce again. Bringing the heat through your thighs here and your triceps. Three, two, one, rest. Next up's gonna be arm circles. Three, two, one, let's hit it for arm circles. Okay, forward and backward. Changing at your own pace. Pick how big the circles are, what feels best for you. Really firing up our upper body here. And these exercises. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, we're gonna take it from the top, starting with shoulders and squeezes, okay? Three, two, one, shoulder squeezes. Remember, elbows are level with your shoulders. Elbows come together in front of you and then extend back to your side, squeezing those shoulder blades together. You add weight, move slower to feel the burn. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Rest. Next up, our right side lunge. Bicep curls. Three, two, one. Let's go. Curl and lunge. Right foot forward, 90 degree angles in those legs, in those arms. Arms are level with shoulders. Front knees over your front ankle. Got it. Breathe through it. Lunging at your own pace. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is gonna be that left foot forward, tricep extension. Three, two, one, exercise. Left side lunges, tricep extension. Arms extended behind you, left leg is forward, lunging. Keep that front knee over your front ankle. Arms extending behind you, triceps on fire here. For an extra challenge, maybe you have cans, salsa, pickle jars. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, our arm circles. Give those legs and sides a little break here. Three, two, one, arm circles, let's go. Size of your circles. Start feeling pretty warmed up here. All right, three, two, one, rest. Next up, going back through the shoulder squeezes. So last time going through this circuit. Three, two, one, shoulder squeezes. Nice job. Level out your elbows with your shoulders. Squeezing your shoulder blades together. Bring those elbows back. Keeping them level with your shoulders. Bring those elbows in front of you. Nice job. Get through it. Three, two, one. Rest. Next up, our right side. Bicep curls. Three, two, one. Exercise. Bicep curls. With the right side lunges. Right knee stacked over the right ankle. Knees bent at 90 degree angles. Arms extending out straight, level with the shoulders until you bend those forearms towards your body. Getting another 90 degree angle. Fist towards the ceiling. Chest is up. Core is engaged to help you balance through this motion. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, left side with tricep extension. Three, two, one, 
Let's hit it. Exercise. Tricep extension. Left side is stepped forward. Arms extending behind your back. Right ankle on both of your knees. Keeping that left knee stacked over your left ankle. If you're not feeling the burn here, add weight. Balance, use that core. Good job, three, two, one, rest. Next up, arm circle. Off one of the circuit, give it all you have. Three, two, one, arm circle, let's go. I'm gonna go backwards for the majority of this one. Switch last time. Big arm circle here. Let's go. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. All right, take this rest, move it. Pause the music. All right, amazing job. We're resetting the timer here. Great work on you spent eight minutes, five seconds. All right, let's move on. I'm getting a drink of water here. Circuit two. We have inchworms to plank, lateral bear crawl, wide glute kicks, and lateral shuffle. Let's break those down. Inchworms to plank. What you're going to do, start on the edge of your space. You're going to reach down to your toes. Walk your hands out on the floor until your body is in an upright plank position. Hands are underneath shoulders and you have a straight line from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet, like in the upward push-up position. From here, you're gonna stand in this plank for approximately 30 seconds or whatever you want to hold, that is up to you. Then walk your hands back and stand up and start all over again. That is inchworms to plank. Next option, you wanna level it up. We're gonna do burpees to mountain climber. So. Burpees to mountain climber is your second option for this first circuit exercise. So burpee, you're gonna jump, hit the floor, do a push up, come up from your push up, and then start doing mountain climbers. Do about six mountain climbers, three on each side, pulling right knee to left to elbow, left knee to right elbow, alternating, and then jump back up and repeat. So two options, inchworms or burpees, at the bottom, holding a plank or doing some mountain climbers. Those are your options for number one. Second is a lateral bear crawl. What you're going to do is you're gonna start on the edge of your space again, get onto your hands and your feet. This time your feet are um, on the ground as well as your hands, but your knees are just floating off the ground here. So you're in a raised tabletop position. So shins floating off the ground, knees are bent at a 90 degree angle. You could balance water on your back if needed. You're going to move sideways, laterally doing this exercise. So I'm gonna to move to my right. Right hand and right foot step to the right, left hand and left foot follow. Lateral bear crawl all the way across your space. Make sure you're getting both sides and back. So moving to my left now. That is our lateral bear crawl. That should fire up your thighs right away. Next exercise, wide glute kicks. This one's standing up. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do glute kicks just like we did in the warm up. So left heel to left bottom, right heel to right bottom. And you're just gonna do glute kicks with wide feet. Next up, lateral shuffles, another sideways movement. Get to the side of your space, I'm on my left side. I'm going to sink my seat down, sink my bottom down. And so there's a knee, a bend in my knees. My back is still flat and straight. Um, and there's about a 45 degree bend between my thighs and my chest. I'm still facing forward. What I'm going to do is shuffle to my right, keeping that bend in my knees. So I'm gonna put my hands in a prayer position in front of me. If you wanna put them on your hips, whatever, help, whatever helps you. I'm gonna to step to the right, follow with my left. Step to the right, follow with my left. 
and continue this motion, then I'll reverse direction. The key to this is staying low. You wanna stay low in this movement, not stand up after every step to really feel that burn. All right, so let's get into it. Starting with inchworms to plank or burpees to mountain climber. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Inchworms to plank. Four, burpees to mountain climber. All right, keep going, keep it up, keep it up. And get the music back here. Chose to do a push up down there. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, lateral bear crawl. And three, two, one, go. Your shins are parallel with the ground. Back is flat, floating tabletop cover. Stepping side to side. Four is on fire, thighs are on fire here. Good job, everybody. Stick with it. Three, two, one, rest. Bring it back up to standing. Next up is wide boot kick. Three, two, one, wide boot kick. Feel the feet. Feel the bottom. Move at your own pace. If you want to do sprinting pace? Do a sprinting pace. Get that heart rate up. Get through it. This is your active recovery here. Three, two, one, rest. Next up's gonna be lateral shuffles. Three, two, one. Let's go, lateral shuffles, getting that low athletic stance, high step. Movement mimics the lateral bear crawl, but you're in a standing position here. Stay in that low position, see if you can sink lower. Nice job, everyone. Keep it up. Rest. All right, that's the first phase done. Let's do it two more times. I got some water. Three, two, one, inchworms. Let's go. Inchworms to plank, burpee to mountain climber. These are your options. I'm adding a push up in there when I get down. Choose your own adventure here. Position when you get down. Breaking my arms up when I get up to the top. Three, two, one, done. Rest. Next up, lateral bear crawl. Three, two, one. Lateral bear crawl. Let's go. Pins parallel with the ground. Engaging those core. Engaging uh, your thigh muscles. Quads. Stepping side to side. Keep your bottom low. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, wide glute kick. Water. All right, three, two, one. Wide glute kicks, let's go. Go as fast or as slow as you need. Use this as your active recovery, or use this as something to speed up your heart rate. Amazing. Work through it. You're strong. Three, two, one, rest. 
Next up is our lateral shuffle. Three, two, one, let's go. Exercise, get low, stay low as you step side to side, facing forward. Think lower as you go, how low can you go? Nice job. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. One more round of this. You got it. Getting some water. Three, two, one. Hit it. Inchworms to plank, burpees to mountain climber. You choose. Good job. I'm switching halfway and doing some mountain climbers here. Go back up to some more burpees. You got it. Three, two, one, rest. Nice. Next up, lateral bear crawl. Three, two, one, let's go. Exercise, lateral bear crawl. You got this, we laterally. Core is engaged, belly button pulled to your spine. Quads on fire. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, wide boot kick. Three, two, one. Light glute kick, let's go. You got this. Let's do it. Keep moving, that's the only important thing. Keep moving. Three. Two, one, next up, lateral shuffles. Last one of this round, you got this. Woo! Three, two, one, lateral shuffles, let's go. Stay low. Try not to pop up between steps. You got this. One, rest. Well deserved. Take your rest. Nice job. Incredible. All right. Let's hit it. Next circuit. This is another burner. Circuit three, we have squats, which can be leveled up to star jumps. Single leg stand on right and left. So that's two different ones. And then jumping jacks. So squats or star jumps is our first option. So squats, choose your own adventure with how far apart you want your feet, either hip width apart, shoulder width apart, or you can go for a sumo squat, wide feet, toes pointed out, your decision. For squats, you're going to engage your core, tuck your tailbone forward. So you're getting a rotation in your hips, under and up, bend down, bend your knees, chest, and face, stay forward. My hands are either gonna be on my hips or in a prayer position in front of my chest. And this goes for any squats that we're doing. Chest forward, face up, and that's our squat. You wanna, when you squat, you wanna make sure that your knees are not going past your ankles. You don't wanna overextend your knees, put too much pressure on them. That's squats. Level up to star jump, we have jump, go into a squat, and then when you're coming up out of the squat, jump up, hands up, and then come back down to a squat. So jump up, down to a squat, jump up, down to a squat. So when you land, you're going straight into that squat position. If you're doing this 
please be mindful of your form. You wanna make sure you're going easy on your knees when you land and your knees are not overextending past your ankles. Star jumps. All right, next up, single leg stand right side. So for single leg stand, stand on your right. What you're gonna do is you're gonna be balancing. Bend both knees, start with your feet together or no more than three inches apart. Um, what you're going to do is bend both knees slightly and then you're gonna lift up your left leg, tap it down, lift up left knee, tap it down. So you're bending, doing a high knee on your left side and then bringing it down. So stabilizing through your right leg, high knee on one side, just keep repeating, lifting left, lowering, lifting left, lowering, engaging your core there. That's the second one. The third one, the same thing, but opposite side. So this time bouncing on your left leg, tapping right foot, bringing it back up. You wanna have a slight bend in your stabilizing leg, really fire up your core to engage those bouncing muscles, and then also engage those stabilizing muscles in your leg. Next one, jumping jacks. You're gonna be X position, jump to an I position. Arms out, feet apart, arms together, feet in. Jumping jacks. Option to do a side jack. So making a letter K instead of X and I. So right arm, right leg step out, step back in. Left arm, left leg step out, step back in. Choose your own adventure. Let's hit it. So starting with squats or star jumps. In three, two, or five, four, three, two, one. Squats or star jumps, here we go. All right, keep going, keep going. Switch up, what kind of squats do you wanna do? Up to you. Squats, star jumps. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is our single leg stand, balancing on our right. Three, two, one. Feet together, let's start. Bend in your, soft bend in your knees. Left knee comes up, step, tap to the ground. Up, tap down. My hands are together. In a prayer position in front of my chest, so that helps me balance. Whatever helps you bounce. Soft bend in that stabilizing knee is important. Stabilizing leg. Left leg should be on fire from going up and down. Right leg should be on fire from stabilizing it. Three, two, one, done. Rest. Next up, same thing on the other side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Soft bend in the knees this time. Right knee comes up and down. Soft bend in that stabilizing knee. Stabilizing leg on fire. Right, high on fire, coming up and down. Engage that core, it'll help you stay stabilized. Balance. Amazing. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, jumping jack. Choose your adventure here, options to side jack. Three, two, one, let's go. I am sweating, I hope you're sweating along with me. Getting that heart rate back up after we just let it go down. Got our heart rate back up. Keep it up. Three, two, one. Squat and star jump. Let's go. I'm gonna, when you come up from your squat, if you not do the star jump, really push those hips forward on that way up. Engaging your glutes there. You got this. Mindful of where your knees are. Over your ankles. Lower. Three, two, one. Next 
reps. Next up, single leg stand on the right. Three, two, one, let's go. Soft bend. Lifting up that left knee as a pointed toe, tapping the ground, coming up. Start your chance to let your heart rate come down a little bit before we ramp it back up with double back. That soft bend. Don't let your legs quit on you. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, the other side. Three, two, one, let's roll. Left side stabilizing, right side doing those high knee taps. Soft bend in that left leg, don't give up on it. Let it shake, fight through it. Engaging your core is helping you balance here. Need to hold on to something totally fine. Three, two, one, rest. Except jumping jumps. If you find that's easier to bounce on one side or the other, that's okay, totally normal. Three, two, one, jumping jacks, let's go. High jacks, always an option. Nice job. This is a heart rate increaser right before we get back to the stand. Here consists of bicycle crunches. 
hundreds, cherry pickers, aka sitting twists, and elevated lower curl. So bicycle crunches. What we're going to do, lay on your back, feet flat on the floor, knees pointed towards the ceiling. Legs are bent. Hands behind your head, elbows pointed out to each side. What you're gonna do, bring left knee to right elbow in front of your torso and have your right leg extended out straight behind you or straight in front of you. Then you're gonna switch. Left elbow to right knee, left leg extends out straight. Alternating, this is bicycle crunches. Option to remove the legs from it and just do right curl, left curl, right curl, left curl to the sides. The goals of that is to get your shoulder blades off the ground. That's working on some upper abs and some of the side abs there. Next up, hundreds. Laying on your back, feet flexed, knees bent, shins parallel with the ceiling. So your feet are not on the floor. Toes pointing towards the ceiling. Arms by your side. Curl up, chin to chest, shoulder blades off the ground. What you're gonna do here is pump your arms up and down a few inches. So palms face down, fingertips forward, pumping arms up and down while keeping those shoulder blades off the ground. That is hundreds. They're called hundreds because you usually do a hundred of them. We're gonna do 30 seconds, three times. <laughs> All right, next up, cherry pickers. You are going to balance on your bottom here. So I'm on my bottom, sitting up straight this time. Um, I'm gonna lift my knees off or my feet off the ground. My knees were pointed, starting feet flat, knees pointed towards the ceiling, lifting my feet off the ground a few inches. So I'm hinging on my bottom. My bottom is balancing me on the ground. What you're gonna do then, take both hands from your left hip, reach up and over to your right hip, and then keep continuing, reach right, reach left, reach right, reach left. That is our tray pickers. Next, elevated lower curl. So we've done a lot for our upper abs, our outer layer abs, our side abs. Now we're gonna do our lower, deeper abs. So lay on your back, legs pointed towards the ceiling arms by your side, head rested, shoulders rested. What you're going to do is you're just gonna engage the ab muscles where the zipper of your pants would be. And then you're gonna do a pelvic tilt. So tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling and then back down, tilt it up and then down. So my legs are moving very, very slightly, very hard to notice, very minimal feeling. Just curling your tailbone up towards the ceiling while you engage those zipper abs and then releasing. And we'll do that for 30 seconds. Let's go. Woo. First up, we've got bicycle crunches in three, five, four, three, two, one. Bicycle crunches. Let's go. Opposite one elbow. Stitch work to opposite faster, knee. But your staffing plan needs to go add. up. A size. Sorry about that. You need to. All right. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, extending that up opposite leg. Dog, shoulder blades off the ground. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is hundred. Three, two, one, hundred. Shoulder blades off the ground, feet off the ground, chin straight level with the ceiling, pumping those arms a few inches up and down. Pumping through the section. Breathe through it. Shoulder blades stay high. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is cherry pickers, bouncing on your tailbone. Three, two, one, exercise. Lifting those feet off the ground, hands going from your right hip over to your left hip, bouncing on your tailbone here, engaging those core muscles. You got it. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, elevate. 
elevated, lower curl. So legs are elevated, shoulders down to the ground, head thrusted. Three, two, one, let's go. Lower curl, arms are by your side, tilting your pelvis up to the ceiling, and then back down, engaging those muscles by the zipper of your Three, two, one, rest. All right, taking it back to the top with bicycle crunches. Three, two, one, rest. Oh, we're exercising. <laughs> bicycle crunches, opposite elbow to opposite knee. The knee that isn't like meeting your elbow is extending straight out. Hovering over the floor. Nice job. Breathe through it. Shoulder blades high. Three, two, one. Three, two, one, hundred. So arms are by your sides. Our legs are bent, feet are pointed towards the ceiling, so it's parallel with the ceiling. Feel it really high. Breathe in through it. Two glasses. Really engaging those core muscles. They should be on fire here. If they're not on fire, reach your shoulder blades higher more. Three, two, one, rest. And next up, cherry picker. Three, two, one, cherry pickers. Lift those legs off the ground. Hands go from hip to hip. If having those feet lifted off the ground is too much, drop them down. Touch the ground, it's fine. Good job, breathe through it, hands up and over, up and over. Pushing that core, side to side, feeling the burn. Three, two, one, rest. Lay your head back down. Next up, moving our elevated lower leg Three, two, one, let's hit it. Exercise, curl your um, tailbone up towards the ceiling and release, engaging those ab muscles below the belly button. The straighter you can get your legs, the better. You got this. Feels like a small movement, but it's doing lots of work. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, taking it back from the top. Last time going through this circuit. Three, two, one, bicycle crunches, let's go. Opposite elbow to opposite knee, shoulder blades high. The leg that is not meeting your elbow is kind of straight, hovering over the ground. Engage those core muscles. Head, hands behind your head, elbows wide. Your hands behind your head are doing nothing but support your head. They're not pulling your head up, not putting tension on your neck. Three, two, one, rest. Next up is gonna be hundreds. Exactly. Three, two, one. Let's exercise. Hundreds, pump those arms, shoulder blades high. Chins parallel with the ceiling, bent, toes pointed up. You wanna feel the burn? Lift your shoulder blades higher. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Next up, gonna be cherry pickers. Three, two, one, cherry pickers. Let's go. Opposite hands, or both hands to right hip, both hands to left hip. Bouncing on your tailbone here. Feet are off the ground. Meaning 
bringing your torso back. Feel more of a burn. Whew. Breathe through it. This is your last time doing chain pickers. Three, two, one, rest. Next up, last ab exercise. Elevated lower leg curl. Three, two, one, let's go. Exercise. Curling your tailbone up, engaging those core muscles below the belly button. Try to see if you can hold it. So hold it up as long as you can. Hold it for a couple seconds, then release. Hold it for a couple seconds, release. Really fire it up. Push through this last exercise. Three, two, one, rest. Amazing, well-deserved rest. We're gonna go into our cool down. All right, with our cool down, we're gonna start in cat-cow position. So hands on the ground, feet, knees underneath your hips in um, a tabletop position. So back is flat, uh, wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. You're gonna curl your belly down Bring your face up and feel this release in your core muscles here. This is cow. When you're ready, you will curl your chin to your chest. Bring your spine up. Suck your belly button all the way up to your spine. Big curve. And this is cat. And feel free to go through the motions of cat cow on your own. Deep breaths as you go through. Uh, one thing I do wanna say, if you feel something else needs to be stretched more, feel free to do your own stretches or stretch separately for longer periods of time, all up to you. You have the power to pause the video. All right, next up, down dog. I'm gonna curl my toes under, straighten my legs, hips to the sky. I'm in an upside down V shape. And I'm gonna breathe through cat or through down dog here. I'm gonna lower my heels to the ground as far as I can, feeling that stretch in the back of my calves. Wonderful. I'm gonna come down and out of that. I'm gonna lay on my back. I'm going to extend my left leg straight and long, hug my right knee to my chest. While I'm here. Might throw in some right ankle circles while my foot is elevated here off the ground. And switch. I'm hugging my left knee into my chest, right leg is out long, doing some left ankle circles. From here, I'm gonna put my arms out into a T on the ground, bring both of my knees up, shins are parallel with the ceiling, um, knees, legs are bent 90 degrees. I'm gonna let both of my knees fall over to the right, and then I'm gonna bring my face over to face my left to get a little lying twist, a little spinal twist here. Do a lot of core work, everything in the body is connected especially your core and your back. So you should be feeling some stretches through your back here. When you're ready, bring it back up and switch sides. Knees to the left, face to the right. All right, coming out of that, I'm gonna sit up, extend my legs out straight, toes pointed towards the ceiling, and then I'm going to reach for my toes. Ooh, I'm not getting very far in my reach today. So if you reach your knees or your shins, that is totally fine. 
Some days I can reach past my toes and today's not that day. All right, when you're ready, we're gonna go into butterfly pose. Feet together, knees apart in front of you. The closer you bring your feet to the center of your body, the more of a stretch you'll feel. The further out you point your knees to each side, the more stretch you'll feel. I'm sweaty, I hope you all are sweaty with me here. <laughs> And from butterfly pose, we're gonna go into child's pose. So I'm gonna get into back into the tabletop position. Point my knees out to 10 and two, bring the toes together behind me. Sit my bottom back into my toes, extend my arms forward, bringing my forehead to the ground, taking a few breaths here in child's pose. The more you extend your arms out forward, the more of a stretch you'll feel in your spine. And with that, feel free to stretch longer, stretch more, do different stretches. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, I encourage you to join our live exercise sessions throughout the week on Zoom. And uh, please like and subscribe so you'll get notified when we have more videos out. Thanks for doing it with me.